What is up everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Thunder Call of the Wild. And today, I have taken all the trophies out of this lodge that I had put in here as placeholders the other day when we first started checking out the update and took everything out. So now, all we have is a bunch of empty plaques. So, the goal now is to get a diamond or a rare of each of these species to put in here. Um, maybe with the exception of the two rabbits, I don't know. They're very hard to come across, and I definitely don't feel like hunting these guys ever again. So, that's not really what we're going to be going after. I want to get the bigger animals, for right now anyways. And I thought, what better way to start it off than with red deer. So, the goal is to go out in multiplayer and see if we can find ourselves a diamond or a big rare red deer. I don't know what map I want to start on, either Hirschfelden or Tiara. We'll just have to see. All right, so we do have quite a few red deer out here. So, let's test out the new 7mm on these red deer and just see how it will do. So, if I want to get that dude and that guy, <clears throat> that should be pretty good right there. They went down pretty quickly. Not half bad. Dude's about 300 meters out. So, if we want to take him as well. And there we go. This gun seems to do pretty good on the red deer. And we also have quite a few down there at the far end. So, if I can maybe get a couple of those sevens. You know, just like that. And there we go. That should have been good. And he's going down. He's already dead. There we go. Let's go. That's awesome. This gun is doing really good on the red deer. Here are two that we started with and got lung liver stomach on that level six and then the other one is right here let's see how we did on this one and we got a double lung shot and went down pretty easily i'll take it let's go all right here is i believe this was the level five got just a stomach liver shot on him but I mean, it brought him down fairly quickly, 87% quick kill with just that little bit. So, I mean, hey, I'll take it. Not half bad at all. Let's go. Well, when it comes to Red Deer, I would have to say that the 7mm performs very well. I think the only downside to it is that it can only hold three rounds, but that's not too big of a deal when the animals spook a little quicker now. They don't just stand around and stuff. There's not very many times that you can get more than two or three shots off in a herd. So I think it'll be pretty good and manage to get two nice gold red deer right there. Well, that is unfortunate. We have found a level nine red deer, but he is a troll. Oh man, I cannot believe that mess. Come on. I mean, really, of all, of all the times, one of the easier diamonds to find in this game. And of course we're going to find a troll. So let's go on ahead, take a shot at him, and he is going down. Not bad. Hey, I mean, at least it's a start anyways, but not quite the start I had in mind. As we have little bunny rabbits running all over the place. All right. Well, a big mythical showed up on that side over there, and when I saw him, I at first thought he was going to be the small rack nine, but let's go ahead and claim our guy here, 241.96, that is a really big one for this rack, 230.02 kg was fairly close to being able to make it, but just didn't quite get there, so, oh well, it's alright, we'll just have to keep plugging along and maybe we'll get one eventually i'm not gonna actually you know what i am gonna tax them just so we have a placeholder in that lodge all right well we do have a couple of red deer up here in front of us that i might try and take a few cracks at so let's go on ahead get that dude so he's gone then we'll go on ahead get this 
to the level six here, and then smoke that level seven, who is a good little ways out there, but should be able to bring him down fairly easily. And I think we did pretty good right there. Awesome. All right, so here was our first red deer. And let's see, actually a gold level six. Not half bad. Didn't quite manage to get the double lung in there, but he still went down rather quickly. Then I think one of our others should be right up here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. This was the other level six, and in the level seven, he ran a good ways further. But at 167, managed to get the double lung liver on him, so not half bad at all. Let's go find that big level seven. All right, here's our level seven, and a 194.81. Not half bad. Got some mallards flying over, I think, but it looks like they can't be spotted. So that's unfortunate. Can these ones? Yeah, they can be, but neither one of them's a three, so... Oh well, it's alright. Let's just keep on looking. Well, it's not a level nine, but it is a mythical that has half of my favorite red deer rack. The other half is the kind of wonky looking, almost small rack. But let's see if we can take this dude out. And he looks like he's going down. Might as well take this four out and get him on the way over. So he's going down. He's down. All right, let's go. All right, here's the first red deer. This was the little level four, and he is quite a small guy. But he is down nonetheless. There's also a big seven out there, but I don't think we're going to bother with him. I just wanted to get this mythical. So let's see here. And a 230.24. Definitely a big one. I wish he had both of the right side. Because that is my favorite piece of the uh, rack for Red Deer. I love that rack. I really want a rare that has both sides of that. I think I have one that has part of it. But not, not both sides. That would be pretty awesome. But there we go. Not a half bad Red Deer. All right, well, I'm in another server, and we do have two pretty nice-looking mythicals out there, so I'm going to see if we can get them. And dropped him with a spine shot and took that other one down, so not half bad. Let's go. All right, well, here's the one I think that we hit in the spine, but it does look like we managed to get a vital organ, and it was actually a neck shot. Okay, that's interesting. I thought I'd completely mess that one up, but actually managed to save the gold. Let's see what we have over here. And a 215.34, so the smaller version of this rack. Definitely not bad though, I'll take it. Managed to get that double lung shot. I tell you, the 7mm is doing really good on these red deer. I'm very, very pleased with how it's doing. Okay, this has to be one of the craziest red deer zones I think that I've ever seen. Also, we have some very big red deer here in this zone. But look at this mess. What on earth is going on? And there is a piebald hind. However, there does not seem to be a level 9, which is kind of what I was looking for. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. That is crazy. Oh my gosh, there are so many red deer. That is unbelievable. I only have ever seen so many in that zone. What the heck is going on? Okay, well, unfortunately, none of the big ones are rares, but we will go on ahead and take out the piebald hind. So get out our 7mm. She's about 250-ish meters out. And we'll take her out and maybe one of those sixes. I'm not sure. We'll see. Let's go on ahead and get her. She is going down. I was hoping some of these other ones would kind of stand around here. Kind of like he did. And should have got a good shot on him. I thought that was a good shot. I guess that it wasn't. 
Well, never mind. We will not be getting a second one. All right, and here's our little piebald on hind. Let's see what we've got. Not half bad. I'll take it. Let's see if I can get a little picture of her in here. I don't know why I didn't get a picture of the level 9. Kind of wishing I had now. Makes thumbnails so much easier. But we're going ahead and tax her. That way, in case we ever want to make a multi-mount or something, we have another rare. I just wish I would find at some point an albino or melanistic hind red deer because all I have are pie bulbs. So I would like to find a male or albino female, but I don't know. We'll just have to see if it ever happens. Well, it's not a level 9 red deer, but it is a level 5 feral goat. So we are going to try and take this guy down. However, I do think he is pretty much a guaranteed troll. I mean, he really doesn't look that big. Um, I just, I need him to give me a decent shot. However, he does not want to listen to me at all, so we'll just have to wait for him to kind of move out of the bushes. Oh, actually, he's going to stand up now, which is nice. Yeah, this dude is definitely way too small. Oh my gosh. Going ahead and what was that? Please tell me that's not an issue. Okay, the Mosin has an issue. Well, we will not be carrying this gun much more after this. That is weird. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that, but we'll have to <laughs> let you up you know about that bug. Holy smokes, I had no idea that would happen. All right, well, here's the goat, and he's probably going to score, like, in the 180s. He's tiny. Yeah, 184. I don't even know how this dude was a level 5. I mean, he had a level 5 weight. He just had a horrible rack. So, not really anything all that special. But, oh, well, it's okay. I mean, hey, level 5 is a level 5. You know, sometimes you're just happy to see one. Well, guys, I came out to my own map to check for some red deer and guess what i found another troll level nine i just i i don't understand i have no idea why the red deer decided to be such a pain in the butt today but you know they just want to be i don't know just trying to figure out if there's anything else down around this corner i don't think that there is much much of any note anyways not not looking like it so a lot of these red deer are still left over from the red deer grind i did back last summer but uh yeah let's see he's right there he's already alert because you know he is level nine he's got those heightened senses but once he gives me a decent shot i'm gonna take it he would just turn around like that and he's going down awesome all right and here he is let's see what we've got in a 238.75 228.9 kg dang we were so close we were so close dang on oh well i mean hey a level nine is a level nine so you know i'll take it it's not as big as the last one but i guess you could call it progress Alrighty guys, well I just found a melanistic European rabbit. So that is pretty cool. It is just a female, but still a pretty neat find. So let's go on ahead and pick her up. That is so cool. I didn't see one of these guys in a long time. And you know they're actually rare now, which is pretty neat. So that is awesome. Wasn't even trying to find that, but Hey, I mean, I guess we can now put something in that slot for the rabbit. Well, guys, I, I just, I don't know what to say. The red deer really do not want to be nice. We found another troll. This one's estimate, the bottom is 241. So he's going to be a fairly big one. But I just, I don't understand. Why can I not find a diamond red deer? I've never had problems finding them before until now. So, I don't know. But let's go on ahead and take him out. We're zeroed for 150. And then he would just, you know, stop walking. Great. 
Bingo. And that should be good. Two big dead red deer. All right, well, here is the mythical. Let's see. And he was a 240.34. It's a massive mythical. And then here is the level nine. And this dude is a 241.96. I'm pretty sure that makes him bigger than the last one. But unfortunately, his weight is still too low. 229.42 kg. Oh, man. Can we just please find a diamond? I just want to find one. Ah, uh, I'll tax him for now, but still. Jeez, I just want to find a diamond. Come on. Oh my gosh, it's about time. We finally found a potential diamond red deer. Now, watch this guy troll. Even though this rack doesn't troll that often, it is still possible. I just hope that that is not the case this time. Let's go ahead and smoke him right there. And then he's going to go down. And hopefully he'll be a diamond. Like I said, I wish... I wish it was a big rack, but beggars can't be choosers. I just want a diamond red deer, and we finally found one. All right, and here is this level nine. Let's see, and a diamond 252.45. It took long enough. Holy smokes. Wow, that took way longer than it needed to. Oh my gosh. Well, hey, I mean, I'll take it. A diamond red deer is a diamond red deer. Either way you look at it, that is still awesome. Let's go. All right, this server's stupid. What is going on? <laughs> There's a big rack diamond red deer down at that end of the lake. So we're going to see if we can get him. And no, it is not like a hacked server or anything. Uh, it's just really good red deer spawns. Because um, everything else in the server is normal. I have looked and seen a bunch and I mean, it's all normal it's just crazy red deer what in the world is going on hey he'll look better on the wall though than the last one all right and here's our red deer let's see he is the big big rack and a 265.55 max weight what is going on all right well hey i mean you know if you takes you hours to find one diamond red deer just go ahead and find two within five minutes you know i mean what the heck this is unbelievable well hey i'm just happy that we finally found the stuff we were looking for so you know we can probably put this guy on the wall and then put the other one in a multi-mount with that piebald female and then put our melanistic uh you're a rabbit in the trophy lodge so it actually worked out pretty good. Let's go. All right, so for the start of the new series to fill this trophy lodge, we had a pretty good day. Took us a while to find the stuff that we were after, but we managed to get this small rack diamond red deer here with the piebald hind, and then the big rack diamond there, and this little melanistic female European rabbit. So, I mean, hey, I'm super, super happy to have these things in here. And now, I think the next thing I want to go after, um, next we'll do Whitetail. Yeah, so the next time we go out, we'll do Whitetail and probably go out to Revan Tuli and see what we can find out there. But, uh, yeah, guys, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this down below. Um, love to hear from you all. So with that said, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time.